Hey guys, and welcome back to more Separate Ways. Let's continue, shall we? Um, so, I'm hoping the microphone sounds okay. I noticed in the last video, the microphone was not great. And I had to um, fiddle around with it quite a lot in post to actually make it sort of audible. I don't know why. I think um, my assumption is that my noise gate... Um, filter on obs just stopped working i don't know why i tried to fiddle with it and nothing happened so i have um just completely deleted it and scrapped it and made a new one and it seems to be okay so yeah not sure anyway enough about that And here we are. Okay, so at this point, um, I have already completed this game. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm pretty much uh, just over halfway through my second playthrough now. And I am enjoying this game spectacularly. Uh, what I like about it as well is it's a little bit shorter well, quite a bit shorter, actually, than the um, main campaign, which I think just adds to the replayability of it. Uh, not that I, you know, am championing for, championing for small games or anything like that, you know. I don't think there was anything wrong with the length of the uh, standard Leon campaign. In fact, you know, we, we all like a bit of length, don't we? You don't want to spend 10 quid... Um, and get shortchanged. Now, um, so, we are going to get all the baubles, all the dick hats, as my friends would say, uh, except for getting all the treasure and stuff, we don't actually get anything, seemingly. Um, there's no trophy or uh, achievement for getting all of the treasure, which uh, was a little bit surprising, but... It is what it is. So, let's go open some doors. Louise's footprints. And my god. I'm really hoping the audio is better because the audio was so atrocious in the last video. Um, if I had the time, I would have redone it, to be honest. But getting quite busy around here. Got some computers to repair. And a schedule to keep, and we need to do some more Titan tries as well. Evening, guys. Evening. How's it going? I kind of wish I could just go straight in with my new game plus LP, but that's not going to happen. Let's go loud. Yes. Got both of them. Brilliant. <laughs> get fucked yeah I did wonder because um, I finally bought a monitor stand for my um, actual desk so I've got my monitors mounted and it's given me a humongous amount of uh, desk space which is really nice but I did wonder if that even it was that that was upsetting the microphone but there's no way it actually could be. We've also missed a um, yellow herb. 
And it was actually, if I'm correct, and I'm pretty sure I am, it was actually the first yellow herb in the game, because I think there's one on every level. Uh, trouble is, it was in the beginning when you're being chased by the village chief and you have to run past. I also did miss an achievo with him, which I've already got now, and that's where you have to shoot his hat off. Nice little throwback to Resident Evil 2 Remake, which uh, I appreciated. I think we're up to date on all of our things. So, Chronicles of Pursuit, Torn. December, eight years since my awakening. I am at a loss in my endeavors to combine man with insect. Their fusion is not coming to fruition, and my patience wears thin. The housekeeper has long suffered, and I confess my hair stands on end when I hear her screams of anguish. Will I ever achieve perfection? I have two choices. The first is to continue with my current method to change nothing but instead widen my search for compatible insect components. The second is more colourless, more immoral, adding yet another completely different organism. If done poorly, the latter choice will likely lead to failure, but I fear I shall not break this deadlock uh, if I do not adjust my current methods. The housekeeper will break if things continue on as they are now. I must decide what to do. His humble servant. Yeah, pretty, pretty dark stuff. But, you know, we're in Resident Evil territory and uh, we'd be pretty disappointed if it was all sunshines and, and, and roses now, wouldn't we? We want dark, deplorable, evil bastards. Also, I will mention that the new rendition of Wesker has indeed started to grow on me. So I'm a bit of a happy boy, actually. Right, um, now we've twizzled that one. Now I believe we've got to go down here. I'm getting mixed up with these gates a little bit. But I think now it should all be plain sailing. We have grabbed all of the treasure thus far. Fuck sake. Honestly. Yeah, the whole iris thing as well uh, with Ada's magical contact lens is a bit... I don't know. I'm I'm not I, I know she's like a super spy and all this gubbins, but I'm not like a massive massive fan of how it's Oh wait. Hang on. There's another switch we can throw. And I can't remember. Yeah, be, ah, I remember my first playthrough. I got tripped out by this bit. I think we twizzle that now and that should open it. If memory serves. There we go. Excellent. We've got all the treasure thus far. Let's go. Now. Let's keep going. Now there is one. Um, request. That I didn't manage to complete. But we'll get it this time. Ada. I hope it's you reading this. I'm going to the mine tunnels uh, to try and regroup with Leon. I overheard Ramon on the uh, on the castle intercom saying that Leon's heading that way and right into trouble. You can get there through the waterway. It's dangerous, but I'll leave some signs to point you in the right direction. He really knows his way around this place. He does. He's a good lad. It looks like my um, noise gate is working properly again. All right. Let's go. Now, I don't care too much about um, missing treasure. Not really, but I don't want to because this playthrough is a little bit of a, a bust now because I've already done it. And obviously, none of the progress from this one is going to carry over onto my new save. But I'm going to record... Um, I'm going to record like a hardcore run or something, or maybe a pro run for this game. It's going to be a lot easier and a lot quicker to do than the main game because it's a lot shorter. A nest. Hope it's not a sign of things to come. Well, this place looks a little bit more interesting now, doesn't it? Right, actually. There's a sneaky little sneak that we can do here. That door there is 
bolted. But I believe there's another one a little bit further down. And that one is not so bolted. Hey, guys. Ooh, careful there. Oh, ouch. Almost had my eye out. Honestly, these guys. So, there are some fantastic little upgrades that we can get going forwards as well. Ones that make Ada run faster. Ooh, God. Okay, we weren't actually empty. Don't know why my gun stopped firing. Woo! But we're not going to worry about that. Look, you are a pain in my ass right now. Fuck off. Honestly. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's fine. Don't mind that. Good God. <laughs> this gun, it's so weak and feeble. But that's okay. Yink. Got another yellow herb here. Uh, I believe there's one yellow herb on every level. Yeah, this is the one that... With prior knowledge, I'm wondering if we can chink our way into this one. Ooh, have they been sneaky? Nope, we can. Ha ha! Huzzah! Let's go. So this opens up this treasure. Now, obviously, we can just come back and get this later. But fuck that noise when we can just go grab it now. There's another treasure in here. That's quite a sneaky little thing, actually, because you can avoid this section and come back through the other way. Ah, oh, I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. Uh, we're going to use a key. Very important, these keys. For the gold bars. And this lets us come up behind them. Very nice. Very, very nice that was. Okay. Cool. And there's the biosensor. And if you're saying to yourself, gee, Titan, how useful is the biosensor in, uh, in this mode? Well, dear viewer, it's essential. Oh. How essential? Well, very essential. Okay. So, we could twizzle with that now, I guess. Go on then. We're twizzle the dinghy. Now, there's our merchant friend, which we couldn't actually get to. Until we achieve the draining of the water. Now you can see the bugs have made this place their home, which is icky. I don't mind bugs, they don't bother me that much, but uh, bugs on this scale though. You're going to need more than your size 15s to take care of these things. Okay, and now we've come full circle. Sweet! Now we could go talk to our merchant friend, I suppose. Because he has a little mission for us. And well, it would be rude. Very rude not to indulge him, wouldn't it? So there's seven merchant quests. I can say that now. Yes, you do. Um, where is his merchant... Salazar Family Chronology Waterway. For many years, the existence of the waterway beneath the castle was forgotten. According to our records, it was built by third-gen Count uh, Gregorio, the architect. The reason for its construction is unclear, but it may have been done to contain the deadly insects that plagued his predecessor. Count uh, Hippisakashito. Uh, water is, after all, a symbol of purity for the Salazar family. Gregorio's waterway was rediscovered during the excavation of an underground tunnel under the orders of the 8th gen Count Ramon. The elaborate, beautiful architecture is just one example of Gregorio's iconic work. 
He redirected the river to flow underground, creating both a waterworks and a sewage system. It can even be used as a water storage facility during times of drought. Yummy! That purified that water first, ha! Huh? The construction can only be described as a magnificent feat of architecture for the time. But its beauty is wasted on, rule, on our ruling simpleton. The only interest he showed in the uh, place was using it as a tool to drown those who dared to oppose him, of course. Insolence. Gregorio must be turning in his grave. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Have you now? I can't even remember what we've got, to be honest. Um... No, they will not. So, let's start selling our valuables, shall we? Uh, you know what? We should also be able to produce something somewhat decent out of this. So, we want you. We want you. Oh, actually... Let's get you in there. And you. Now we need more gems by the look of things. To sell this. That will do. Oh, I intend to. I intend to. Right, what are we short of then? We could use some more... So this charm here is very important. This allows us to rip um, shields away from enemies. Very, very useful in saving ammo. Um, okay, so we'll sell the flagon. It's not worth a huge amount of money, but we can get that up to being worth like over 100 grand. So we're going to hold on to that. Let's get our knife repaired. Oh my god, no wonder this thing sucks. All right, let's get the power Oh my god. Oh my god, these weapons. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, okay, that's fine. That is fine. A weapon to suit your Try that on for some. Get the old... Uh, Don't get yourself killed now. <laughs> let's get the old uh, reloading and speed and all that good stuff. So there is the next quest from our merchant friend. Um, something is lurking below the waters. And he wants it. Now don't be scared. It's uh, it's nothing too intimidating. It's a rather large fish. Uh, and if we grab that, we can hand that in. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to use the charm. Uh, or use our money to get the charm. Or something else. We are the type that gets things done. We are Ada. The gets things done doer. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah, there's a lot of these guys in here. What are you doing? I don't think he knows what he's doing. And that is okay. Hello, sir. Don't want none of your business. Ooh. Definitely don't want none of your business. Yellow diamond. Excellent. Ooh, bad one. Uh, you know, let's see if we can't make some bullets. Yes, we can. Now, this submachine gun is fantastic. We will be leaning on that quite a lot. And there is... Our fishy friend. Lord of the Waterway. Ah. That's not good. Right. We need to go back to the merchant. Yeah, you have. Probably a while. It's probably been feeding on all the people that uh, uh, Raman's been drowning as well. Because, you know, he is kind of that sort of guy. I suppose it's good for the fish, to be fair. 
Right, let's just have a little look this way whilst we're here. Hopefully, we're going to be okay at picking things up. I guess we could reload the bow. That's going to get a round out of our inventory. Not that that's going to do us humongous amounts of favours, but... Favours nonetheless. Come on. There we go. He's down. Just his friend here. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. Yep, I'm liking the architecture here. It is very pretty. Some more gunpowder. Now that's something on my um, New Game Plus run that I have just almost too much, too much of. Gunpowder. Gunpowder out the wazoo. Now the only thing I do need to try and work out in my new game plus affair is how to make more money. Because without running through the game... Okay. Okay. Like 53 times. Well, ah, we can make more submachine gun ammo. So that is what we shall do. Yeah, the submachine gun, uh, honestly, it gets quite vicious, actually. Now, can we? Thank you. Nobody asked you for your input. Ow. That was my head. And that was your neck. Yes, it does get quite vicious. Now, I wonder if we can get that crown up to being worth 100k. Because... Oh, hello. Unfortunately. No, we can pick the Viper up. Cool. Now, obviously, Vipers are healing items, but we're not going to be using them. Yeah, you can have that, my friend, and you can have that. Yes, you will. You can have those two as well. And that will do it for now. Hmm. So we've got... So we need, realistically... We need... One more of these. Uh, I would like that, please. That... Ooh. You know what? We'll have that. And we'll have that. And then what we shall do is we shall, if we can, I'm pretty sure we can, that makes it worth 70. That makes it worth exactly 100. <laughs> All right. That's worth it. Well... I'm always interested in your new items. Good luck to you, okay, so there we go. Let's grab the firepower for that. Firepower for this is probably going to be quite useful. Um, you know what? Before we make any serious choices, let's get that equipped. Let's... Take you out. We'll drop you back in store. Um, no, store. We'll get the rifle out. The rifle is a weapon that is absolutely essential. Now, we don't need that scope anymore because we've got the biosensor. Now, let's start tuning up our rifle um, because we're going to need this. We are absolutely going to be needing this. That's not bad. I think ammo capacity on this thing's probably going to be where it's at. Cool. Yeah, you do that. And we're going to put the biosensor on this bad boy. Now, 
it's kind of tempting to use this and go a little bit ham with it, but no. No. One must exercise extreme restraint because there's a place where... Oh, I always go down here, don't I? There is a place where we're going to be needing that. We're going to be leaning on the rifle pretty far. And I think that's in the next chapter. Okay. And uh, considering this is our first run through, we do not really have the supplies to be wasting. But that's okay. These things change. Right. Now we want to have a good scout out in here. Because there are some rather fan dabby dozy goodies hidden around. Kind of. Right, so there's gunpowder back there. There's some boxes and things. There's also some rather nasty bastards in here. But, you know, you expect that. Come here, you dirty little bugger. There you go. Cough up the cash and fuck off. Excellent. Now we've got some more space in the bag. Also, New Game Plus. Now, I don't know whether I just missed this or what, but uh, New Game Plus, you can actually expand your briefcase again. But I'm, like I said, I'm not sure if that was because I wasn't paying attention, which is absolutely possible, or whether that's just something they give you to go back round another time. Which is cool. It's nice to have new things. Look, I'm not going to take the piss out of you too hard, game. But if I didn't know how to crouch and stand yet, we uh, we wouldn't be doing very well, would we? We probably would never have even got to this part of the game, let's be honest. Alright. Now, this briefcase that we have as well, the starting one, um, is... Arguably one of the most useful, to be honest, because it allows us to get extra ammo. Oh my. Well, we're in for a bit of a time here. Thank you for the F8 spray. Now, those of you with a cute earring, earring, hearing, will know what we've been listening to. Yep. It's our old friend, Greg. Ow. So we're just going to light him up with grenades. Because he doesn't really like grenades. And we don't exactly have a massive opportunity to use grenades. No, nope, he's still cracking. He's still going. He's still kicking. That's okay. Okay. We're going to get our concentration on. Shouldn't be much left of him, to be honest. There we go. He's gone. Yeah, not so great, was it, mate? Sack of shit. Yeah, he's not that dangerous, really. Okay. Definitely did that a little bit more elegantly when I wasn't recording, but that's generally the case. It seems to be the way it goes. Ooh. Sent him packing. Okay, cool. Nice smooth little run there, if I'm honest. 
Um, do we want those? Actually, we, we can get both. Always have lots of gunpowder. It's generally the resources that we're lacking. But that's okay. More gunpowder. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Resident Evil Village, this section. And uh, in the beginning when you're running away from that dubious trap after being captured. There we go. More money. We like money. Not that we're financially motivated or anything like that. Oh, no, no, no. Not us. You're not that heartless, are you, Ada? You again? I think it's about time we did something about that guy. Don't you, Ada? Right. Well, you've already convinced me. So, let us put you back into storage. Um, 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 we don't need the biosensor scope either. And let's get this bad boy out. Plenty of ammo for it. Welcome. I've got something new for you. Have you, have you, have you? Very interesting. Um do you much good in the grave. Nope, and I agree with you completely, actually. High powered scope. Never tried that. Let's grab some resources. I know. Something like that. Uh, we kind of don't really have the cash. We don't really have the cash to play around um, at the moment. So, get some more bullets. Nice. We'll get some more machine gun ammo as well. Well, I intend to cause as much mayhem as I possibly can. All right, this is where things get spicy. Hello, you black robe bastard. I hear you. Now, he's actually quite a rough customer. Well, I guess she, really. Pretty sure they reference it. it being here. female. This spot will do. That'll do nicely. Now I like how they fold this boss in. Not so cut, it would seem. Can't stand the clingy type. Time to end this for good. Let's go, Ada. Ooh, yeah, he he pisses us off. Now he's got an exposed brain, which is where you can do the majority of your damage to him. Uh, you can also hit him in the tip of the tail, which does a lot of damage as well. But stunning him with this right in the head is the most efficient way that I've found to deal with his first form. And because this has a huge blast radius, it actually uh, is quite difficult to miss. 
Not saying it's impossible, but it's difficult to miss. Right. And then we're just going to shoot the shit out of his little head. Oh. I appreciate the effort. So yeah, they added this boss back in, which interests... Ooh, I just missed that there. Which, interestingly, was rumoured. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can avoid that particular attack. But we just cut him up and cut him in the brain with a knife. It's fine. She's using an F8 spray. Ooh. I really need to map that evade to my mouse, really. Ow. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yep, there's enough of that. Not really a big fan of that. There we go. He's got a huge amount of HP for your first fight. Now, he drops a nice juicy treasure, but we don't want the treasure yet. Because we want to loot. Loot comes first, then treasure. As is the style of the time. Um, now, I suppose we can produce some of this. Excellent. Right, give me your valuables. Or rather not. So yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the boss from the original game that was missing, but it's close enough. I actually enjoy it a lot more because you're not trapped in a stupid cage. But wait, there's more. Oh yeah. Yes, the parasite part isn't quite done yet. No. But okay. That's fine. We're gonna go back to the old blast arrows. Now, he's got this annoying ability to lay these mines behind him. And they actually do a reasonable amount of damage to you. So his weak spot is this little nugget on his tail. Um, it's not his only weak spot, but it's the one that does the most damage. The main weak spot is here on his stomach. And we're going to hit him with one of these explosive bolts. Ooh. Yeah, he will gob these things at us, which does do a somewhat... Oh, I didn't even see that. Do a somewhat considerable amount of damage. He's being a little bit more aggressive with those than he was. Right. Come on. Okay, I've never seen him do that move before when he climbs around. That's a new one. Okay. Definitely push the button game. Let's get the old uh, machine gun out. Or the submachine gun, I guess. There we go. Ooh, ah, oh, come on. Are you telling me that the submachine gun doesn't have enough in one magazine to put him into a stun? I guess not. Really? That's kind of sucky. I guess it's because it's not actually upgraded. Yeah, he really does not like being shot in the tail. Now, if you do enough damage to him by shooting him in the tail, you can actually stun him um, like that. But it does it instantly if you get like a critical hit on him. But it's not easy to do with these uh, basic weapons. So he's going to start spawning in bugs now. 
which these guys you can just use to farm ammo. Which is basically all there for. I think we kind of evaded that. Still got a little bit of damage, but not as much as we should have. Right. Grab all these bits and bobs. So he should... Oh, God. That was naughty. Yep, we're stunlocked. He will stunlock you with those mines. That's worth noting. Come on. Come on. Now I'm absolutely surrounded with mines. The trouble is, when that happens, is you can't move. Because if you're stun locked, um, the second, well, if you're surrounded by mines, the second you move. Ooh, dear. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh, he's tough. He's spicy. Okay, so first phase down without getting a hit. But the first phase is the easy phase. Now, is there anything that we can make? I can make a mix herb. Okay, we can actually make some rifle ammo, which is not a terrible idea, apart from the fact that we don't have the rifle and we need to save that for the next part. But apart from that, it's not a terrible idea. Okay. <sighs> Once more we're feeling. Not exactly what I expected. Calm down, Ada. Calm down. Yep. Interestingly, having a lot more prob really having a lot more trouble with him than I did when I had on my first go. Wasting a lot of ammo there as well, which is not ideal. Yeah. There has to be a more efficient way of blocking that. Come on. Come on. It takes so long to get into your inventory. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. Yep. Saw that happening a mile off. Thank you. I don't think you can actually evade when you're stunlocked. Which is problematic. Hoping at least some of those shots would hit. I wonder, can we use these on him? No. There we go. That's what we want. Reload. Let's get as much damage in that tail as possible. Which equated to very little damage. That hurt him. Alright. Yeah, this guy, he's got to be the hardest boss, I reckon, in separate ways. I would say quite easily the hardest boss. Just because it's um, it's so hard to hit him and avoid his attacks. Obviously, it just takes practice. You've just got to learn his moves and whatnot, but... He is pretty rough. Okay. Yep, not doing enough damage with that gun. But there's the thing, though. Is it that we're not doing enough damage, or is it just like it's an inconsistent amount of damage that's needed? I'm not sure. I wasn't looking at the evade key there. That was my fault. I don't know if he has a fluctuating amount of health. I don't know. Per cycle. Because it is worth noting that you can also shoot him in the head to score critical hits as well. So that might be the better strategy instead of aiming for his stomach going for his um, actual head.
But all things said, he's not that tough. He's just a pain. And somehow, that cures Ada. But we know that uh, once the host uh, parasite, or once the master parasite dies, the little parasite um, under their controls, they all die. Which makes sense, but I'm not sure how it was in her stomach controlling her. Um, surely it should have been attached to her spot. You know, it's probably not even worth thinking about it. Just Resident Evil. Browser, you say? We don't want to be leaving anything behind. That's the end of poor old Lewis. Shame. I liked him. Pretty damn solid character. You know, I, th I like how they improve the characters. Some of them are a little bit questionable. Like, um... Osmond. I like, the, I like his look. His redesign is fantastic. But I think... I don't know. I, I The original, the way he had a lot more play with uh, Leon, and there's a lot more chemistry between them, it was... I don't know. That I would say that was more fun. Not necessarily better, it was just fun. It was a different tone. But hey, we've still got the original. So, you know. The original's not going anywhere. But I do think this is just overall the much, much better game. Krauser, you bastard. This is a pretty long chapter. Leon, there's only time to say this once, so listen up. He took your friend to the top of the clock tower. If you hurry, he might get there before she turns into one of them. Uh, so you aren't heartless after all. Mm. I guess I should be thankful. Yeah, you should. Now, back to Krauser. Back to Krauser. So, like I said, we've got to keep all of these in one kind of piece, just so it fits into my schedule. All right, because one can simply uh, cannot simply resist the urge to upload more Resident Evil. New no Siri Bob. And these are coming uh, hot off the press as well. <laughs> Literally. We got Monkey Boy Go. We may never know, Ada. We may never know. 
bubble wrapper to you too. That was not the greatest dismount I've ever seen. But, you know, points for trying, I guess. Okay. Collect, collect, collect. Yeah, it's kind of strange when they have um, all these separate chapters. You would think that they would be equally split, but they're not. They're very inconsistent. Ada, what was that? He's going to do it. Yep. Just couldn't help himself. Had to fucking squirt his load all over the place. Dirty bastard. Well, that's fine. He's dead now. Now, we've got a bit of a time limit here to get back to this one. Luckily, it's a very generous time. Sorry, guys. I would genuinely love to play with you. But we've got places to be. You alright there, me old mate? I have some new goods that might... Ah, nasty giant insects, eh? Well, think we can handle some nasty giant insects. A deal well <laughs> Came into some other bits and bobs. Really? What have you got? So you can get the Stingray, uh, which is the upgraded rifle. Um... I, you know what? Because... Because I... Upgraded... That last time. Let's try the new Stingray rifle, shall we? Sure. Because um, I've got this in my playthrough. And it's fine... But I want to have some fun with this bad boy. Yes, in my pocket. Yours, Thanks, Chief. Now, let's get some tuning on this bad boy. So, power-wise, I don't think super important. Already starts off with a much higher ammo capacity. This kind of work is about finesse, stranger. Mm -hmm. a little bit goes a long way. Does a decent chunk of damage. Ammo capacity could be interesting. Rate of fire is something that we want. To get an idea of your uh yeah. Dazzled, are you? <laughs> a little bit dazzled. A little bit. Right. Let's equip. Oh, where's the bioscope? Was that in our... Storage? It is. Right, so let's store you. We'll have you. Now. I might have to cut this video in half. It's going to be like an hour long. I don't really want to, but... Okay. So there we go. So much quicker than the reload, obviously. Alright, let's go. <laughs> no, I know how we can get around it. We'll be fine. Might have to upload as a bonus video. Oof. Yeah, we might cut this one in half. We can always upload a an extra video on um, a Sunday just to keep with the schedule a one-off Sunday video ain't gonna make much difference okay now so we've got a mission from our friend god that's so good yeah we've got a mission from our friend here to take out some bugs. 
So that shall be done. Ooh. Now I made a bit of a grievous error when I was playing this first time round. And it was about here I decided I wanted to start playing with the rifle. And I did. I played with the rifle quite a lot. And it was fun. The only trouble is... Um, we used way too much rifle ammo. Why would that be a problem, I hear you ask? Well, as I've said, we really need the rifle ammo for the next part. Now, the good thing about the biosensor is we've got a bug hunting mission. These bugs blend in, but with our wicked powers of the biosensor, we can actually use them to actually find the bugs. Which is quite useful considering how well they're hidden. Now, maybe this particular guy ain't that well hidden. But the others are. Trust. Alright, now that's unfortunately got all of the uh, enemies excited. All the angry locals come back out to play. But that's okay. Now, what we need to do for another one of those challenges is crush as many of these as we can. I think we have to crush five of them, something like that. Which, eh. I don't think is going to be that difficult. So there's our depraved idol. Ooh. Right, we don't want to get crushed by this because obviously it's a one-hit kill, which is really bad. Okay, let's optimize our stuff a little bit. Now, have we missed anything? We've missed some powder up here, apparently. Where's the powder that we've missed? Are you lying to me, game? Oh, it's got to be, like, right down here in the corner. It's not even... Oh, yeah. It was uh, potatoes. We shall have the potatoes. And we shall be grateful for it. Now, I've got to try and remember where all the bugs are. Because although he wants bugs here... Come on, you. Oof. I think two of them are actually outside. Right, let's see that lip. We actually got squashed. We actually got squashed and crushed. Alright. Let's try that again, shall we? Once more we're feeling. Well, I think he's had enough. Now hopefully we've squashed enough enemies to count. Now, I don't think we have to do it all in one go. Uh, I think it's like over multiple playthroughs. But that's fine. Yeah. So this is where I went a little bit ham with the rifle before. Boy, did I not realize what a mistake I was making. Because, yeah, that rifle, yeah. I mean, you guys know what enemies we've got coming up. I mean, come on. Resident Evil. You know. We've missed a treasure. That's worth knowing. At least we can go back for it. Okay. Come on. Come one, come all. We're an equal opportunities dealer of death. Alright. So. Where was my treasure? Somebody's firing bolts at us behind us. Bit of a dick move. Now. Treasure. 
I want my treasure, god damn it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Okay. Treasure have been has been gimmied. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Oh that means I gotta make another thumbnail. Oh my. I made seven. Seven chapters, you see. The maths. Evening. Oh, hello. Didn't even see you there. Get you going. Now. Where do you come from? Honestly. I'm not having that. Now, let's get the old biosensor out, shall we? And scan the area. Because... I want my damn goodies. It's waiting for you. Come on. There we go. Now that was efficiently done. Not bad, Ada. There's one. Didn't need the bioscope to see him. Now. Where was the other one? Pretty sure. They're birds. Because I sh was shooting at the birds. Uh, on my first run. Like, oh, what are these? Oh, right. <clears throat> really don't want to miss. Ah, wait. Uh... Where is our last bug? Yep. So this guy is right actually back in the cave. I kind of thought we'd missed him, which is why I didn't want to move on. There we go. Bug has been busted. Alright, let's go. Good boy. Right. So we've got some more goodies. My god, I, I genuinely didn't realise how long this chapter was. Crazy. Um, there's tr there is treasure here. But where? No, 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 no. Pretty sure it's down below. Pretty sure. Report. Krauser has possession of the amber. Understood. Oh, Wesky, chill out. Gotta keep the client happy. You do. Yep. You need to pick your clients a little bit better, Ada. Alright, I've got a lot of love for the guy, but he's not the nicest of people. Oh, hi. I agree, sir. 
have no idea what you just said, but I will defend your right to say it. Yeah, and you. You don't point that stinking finger at me. We do all right with that knife. Okay. Now, treasure. We want all of the treasure. Yeah, there's no way I'm uploading an hour video. It will take seven years to upload. Hello. Um, to mama. Oh, nope, nope, nope. None of that nonsense. Um, right. So, how are we doing? Submachine gun ammo. Lovely. Yum, yum. Ah, oh, you dick. Off into the sunset, just like that, hey, Ada. Not even a thought or a care for us. Bastard. Oh well. Now this is the point of no return. Actually a little bit after the point of no return with Leon. Because we uh, forgot to go back and get all the treasure, didn't we? Or I did. But it was blind, so. Good old Ada. Wow, one hour, 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna be cutting this one in half, guys. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm really enjoying this game. I've basically played it uh, one, two, nearly three times now. <laughs> and um, I've still got a few more runs in me yet. So I hope you're enjoying it. And as always, guys, till next time.